This is cool. June Carpio isn't an architect, but man, can he build. And with me, I always say one stick at a time. He uses matchsticks and coffee stirrers, thousands of them, to create models of pure magic. My favorite artist is Bob Ross. Remember? You got the happy clouds and, and, and the, 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 the happy trees. And these are my happy clouds. I'm like a little kid. Maybe that's because his actual childhood in the Philippines didn't include many toys. His family couldn't afford them. June leaned on imagination. One stick is very insignificant. I find something beautiful in those things. I find potential. It can be anything you want to be. It's the same way in life. His collection started three decades ago with a Filipino bus, the Jeepney. I grew up uh, riding this. This is from World War II when the American military uh, left all their military jeeps over there. This is pure memory. I've never been to San Francisco. It's my homage to Forrest Gump. It's a shrimp boat, Baba Gump. He loved his hobby, but when the pandemic hit, he discovered he also needed it. After 35 years in the aviation industry, June lost his job. First time I got laid off, and it really, it, it, I don't know what to do. Three months later, my mother passed away in the Philippines. I can't go. This gave me the focus. I, I got something to look forward every day. Like I wake up in the morning, boom, let's finish it. He taught himself how to 3D print designs and began making even more sophisticated models. That's a lunar lander. It took me about three months. Most of them inspired by aerospace. That's the Hubble telescope. The color changes in the images. This is for the Space Shuttle Challenger. They occupied his mind and gave him purpose. A year later, pictures of all these projects I have, and I took them in my job interview. And I showed them here. And I'm working there now. Each morning before work, this is where you'll find him, working on a new project. The DeLorean, that's the most intense because that's the details. From the flux capacitor to the tire treads, no detail is overlooked. And despite the hundreds of hours he spends on each piece, June has made exactly zero dollars. He doesn't sell anything. Once a year, he simply displays his models at a nearby library and keeps the notes visitors leave behind. They are payment enough. Turns out one little stick and all it can become has given June Carpio everything he needed. It's kind of like life. You keep on trying. The best is yet to come, I guess.